this will be possibly the first election mm -hmm. since 2008 where your father is not around to help campaign. Yes. So, um, how will this affect uh, sport for Pakatan Harapan if your dad not being around? I think, you know, the Sriyana Ibrahim uh, <laughs> is so pivotal, not just by virtue of being who he is, someone who's uh, has so much incorrigible optimism, who is um, so courageous and you know willing to sacrifice his personal freedom to achieve um, you know a, a future that's predicated on principles. So his struggle embodies very much what Adilan stands for mm -hmm. in terms of the demands for reform. Mm -hmm. I mean, reform I see back in 1998 and at the time we were trying to establish how crucial it was to have separation of powers to make sure that you have an attorney general Malaysian anti-corruption commission that could bravely root out corruption without fear or favor mm -hmm. to have a media that could really become the fourth estate and of course a police force that can ensure security for, for all okay. so I think the fact of the matter is he his ideals are the ones that carry us forward and of course, you know, his charisma is not going to be easy to emulate. But I believe from the very beginning, the reminder is to have an electorate that wants to change Malaysia for the better. It is not predicated on one man. Mm -hmm. This is not a personality-based movement or struggle. Of course, people relate okay. to symbols. I mean, this is normal, whether it was the people's power in the Philippines. yeah whether there's a Ukraine opposition leader, there's always going to be personalities that embodies that struggle. Okay. But it's also equally crucial that any organization embodies that spirit. And that's what I think we are trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of campaign, nobody worked as hard as he did. I think you know, you were, yeah. you were, we could also view it. And, uh, but certainly, I think for this particular round, many leaders are also doing their best. Um, and we should really, focus on our core strengths. I think the fact that Dr. Dr. Sri Dhawan Azam and Smail mm -hmm. and Tunji Asma, they have their own set of, of, of followers. You yes. see, the women folk are always, always not given pri enough of a priority. I feel that it's really, you know, it's a zeitgeist, uh, you know, for, for female empowerment. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter, it is our moment to see the future of Malaysia. You mm -hmm. want a better future. You want a more secure Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And that's not going to be uh, secure under Najib okay. is you know something that Harapan must sort of uh, continue to convince, especially uh, you know the female uh, community in Malaysia. Okay, so with you know the um, embodiment of the message and ideals of Anwar, and also with figures like say your mother Masudat and Patus Tiasma, do you think then that the opposition can move beyond on Anwar's schedule? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I think that the Shaddai Ibrahim himself wants us to move beyond the shadow. You know, everyone wants to be able to contribute. Uh, but the issue is having a critical mass, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, having, um, as what uh, Arnold uh, Toynbee stated, a critical minority. Okay. You know, citizens who are made up of leaders in their own right. Yeah, There has to be some degree of organization, of course. You know, whether groups of teachers, whether groups of civil service, whether groups of, you know, concerned and, and upper, aware uh, media, uh, you know, for example, Gram, uh, mm -hmm. for, for, for one, in one particular moment. I yes. mean, these are the ones that will determine uh, the future outcome of change. So, I, I believe, you know, if you want to say step out of the shadow, I mean, we should harness everyone's strength. Mm -hmm. If we can harness a former dictator mm -hmm. who has embraced reformacy, do not tell me that you can't even harness everyone else. Okay. I will say that. I mean, there has to be a degree of belief, yeah, that Malaysia has is brimming with so much potential. Even harnessing the strength and support of past members, okay. leaders might betray the movement and the struggle, but the members, you know, I think that um, we really have to start looking at Malaysia as a project to unify the hearts okay. of all stakeholders. I mean, we're so far long divided mm -hmm. um, through the policies of the British uh, you know, rulers and of course under Barisan Nasional it's always us versus them yes. but really it, it's, it's going to take everyone uh, to get things going so even Anwar is pivotal, even Mahade for that matter is pivotal although we might disagree with many things but mm -hmm. 
the reform agenda is one clear-cut, detailed blueprint that will unite everyone on a pathway 